People read Noodleys to find out about Asian food in particular, and the question that comes up time and time again is, what is Malaysian food? Okay, now in Malaysia, uh, Malaysian food actually is um, is all together an intermarriage, hmm. intermarriage of many many uh, cuisines. For example, uh, our Malaysian cuisine, we have the influence um, of the, uh, the Indians, the Malays. The Chinese, the Portuguese, especially so with the Nyonya cuisine. Mm. So uh, we use, we use, for example, for the um, the Chinese cooking, we use uh, these black mushrooms. We use ferment, fermented bean paste, light soya sauce, dark soya sauce. That is the Chinese influence. Mm. The Indian influence, we use the spices. Mm. For example, we have the, the cinnamon bowl. Mm. We have the cloves. We have the star anise. Mm. And then from the Malay. The Malay side, it is the spices because spices plays a very important role in the Southeast uh, Asian cuisine. Mm. For example, in Malaysia, we have in Thailand and in your country too, mm. Vietnam. Mm. So um, there we have the dried chilies, galangal, and we have saffron and candle nuts. Yes. All, that. all the intermarriage to produce a wonderful cuisine. Mm. That is our uh, Malaysian flavors. So comes another of the, the readers' questions. What makes Malaysian curry different from, you know, in Indonesian curry or any other type of curry? Well, it is it is the ingredients they put in sometimes mm. Mm. and the methods they use. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, for the uh, the nyonya, even the nyonya curries and the Malay curries and the Indian curries, even though we live in one country, they're totally different. Mm. For example, for the uh, the nyonya, nyonya curry, we will use uh, the base ingredients of galangal. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have uh, this uh, lemon grass, mm -hmm. shrimp paste, onions, and we have garlic as our our this um, the masterpiece. Mm. And then only we will use coriander powder, we use cumin powder, and fennel powder. Mm. Well, then. For the Malays, they only slice. Mm. They slice the, the ginger, mm. the garlic, and mm. the uh, big onions or the shallots. Mm. They slice and they fry, and they put in our these curry leaves. Mm. So with the Indians. Yes, yes, yes. That's why uh, it is a different, different mm. way of certain ingredients that we use and the way we cook. Mm. Because curry is supposed to be a long process of cooking. Infuse the flavor. If you know, time, time is the essence. That is a magic ingredient then times and patience when you cook curry. Some people they cook curry even before the spices turn fragrant, they will add in, they will throw in other ingredients. And then we have to, uh, we have after, after we bring to a bowl, we have to simmer gently for seven minutes for all the flavors to be infused mm. together. Mm. That is another secret. Mm. It's not <laughs> it's like the Chinese stir fry. Mm -hmm. It's very fast. The mm -hmm. vegetable ta -ta -ta is ready. That mm -hmm. is the way of cooking. Mm -hmm. So you have to know the, the method of cooking. Mm -hmm. Another question from our Noodley's reader is, um, so who should claim credit for Hainam chicken? Because that's, that's eaten everywhere. I know, that's everywhere. Mm. You know, uh, Singapore says it is theirs, Malaysian say it is ours. Hananese say it's theirs. Hananese, they say from China. <laughs> yeah, they say everywhere. <laughs> but I think, I, I don't know where it really started, mm. but then it is, uh, as you say, uh, it is down from generation to generation, yes. and they perfect it well. Mm. And once they perfected it well, they open up, they mm. open a, a restaurant, mm. and so, and I can say that you know in Ipoh, mm. when we eat the the, the uh, this the Hainanese rice mm. and the and the uh, kway teow, the mm -hmm. kway teow soup, yes. they are beautiful. Mm. Right? Mm. So I think each country has its own. Mm. 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 The, the beginning, I really don't know. Mm. But as a word, Hainanese, mm. if it implies, mm. that means eh, mm. it must have come from them first. Mm. 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 I think so. But it's very popular in Malaysia too, it isn't is. it? Yes. It is popular. Yes. You can just open a Hainanese <laughs> yeah, chicken rice and you have beautiful chicken and with the, with the bean sprouts. Mm. Uh, or the chicken, you know the chicken rice ball mm. 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 Yeah. when we were children? Yep. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs>
Now, just um, uh, can you tell me? Just uh, you started uh, at the beginning before, but can you tell me a little bit about your background and you know non food and you know why you became you know such an advocate for it? You see, um, this started long, long time ago. Huh? Our parents, uh, the the, the Nyonya clan, mm. especially the ladies. Uh, they are, they, they, they are not as free as the men. The men can go out any time, but not the ladies. And we ladies, as, as mothers, our, the role is to look after the husband mm. and the children. Mm. And they love cooking. Mm. Because that's the only thing that they do. They cook and they sew. Because mm. they are not allowed to go out in mm. right? So my mothers and my aunties, they, in their own work, fantastic cooks. My late auntie, uh, she makes cakes to sell, mm. and her cakes they are all from fresh ingredients. You know the rice. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays we can buy nowadays we can buy rice flour, mm. but during that time we get rice and we soak it overnight, mm. and we put in a special you know the uh, the, the stone the, the stone grinder mm -hmm. where we grind them, mm -hmm. and the next morning only we will squeeze them dry the night before, mm -hmm. then we use the pure rice. So our parents, right, used to be very good cooks, and we are involved. Whatever mm. festivals they have, we as young children, we have to peel the onions, we have to cut the coconut and all that. So I learned from my mother, mm. and I enjoy eating her food. Just, you know, the sambal tumis, prawn, prawn sambal tumis with rice, mm. or just the sambal tumis with the eggplant that we plant around our house, mm. cut, 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 you know, with sambal, we can just eat the rice like that. So I Mm. So that's why I decided. Mm. You know, I want to become a, a, at that time we said we want to become a cook mm. when I grow up. Mm. So when I grew up, you know, when I went to school, I make sure that you know I really attend attend the class mm. where they teach you cooking. Mm. Mm. Then I finished my form five, I went to a school where, where I, I learned to become a, a domestic science teacher. And then as I was teaching in school also, I will in the afternoon, I will go home, I will see any classes I will attend. So my whole life is on food. Mm. Learning, 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 learning. And I always tell them that we learn from the womb mm. to the tooth. Hello, the people of Australia. I feel very happy and excited to be here. And I welcome all of you to come to Malaysia. Have a nice time in Malaysia just as I have over here. And you can watch me in New List.